What's up, everybody? Uh, this is Devin Kepke. You're on Snap Kep Keeps, brought to you by the fine members at Team Card Hoarder. Um, we're going to be on the play for game one. Let's see how that goes. <clears throat> All right, so we have our Wombo Combo. Uh, no black mana, notably, but thanks to the Airborg change, uh, you know, we had the chance to draw into that. But we're definitely going to keep, for sure. Hands, like, pretty reasonable. And, um, I mean... What more do you want, you know? Uh, I guess we're going to start off with uh, Seagram Coast and then cast Slight of Hand. Slight of Hand. Um, hmm. I don't know what we want. <clears throat> I kind of want this black land, though. I was thinking about the double, uh, like, have redundant Angel's Graces, but. Uh, if he's not playing like a discard deck or whatever, uh, it's just really bad. Infect? Or not infect, affinity? What is happening? Affinity. Alrighty then. Ethereal Haze is going to be pretty good out of the board. <laughs> oh, perfect draw. We're just... Magicians. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I want that card too. Any sort of mana acceleration would be really good here. Uh, and we have it, so... I'm on it. Okay. What? What? Oh, he's gonna cast a Ravager. Wait, no. He just needed the three mana. Okay. I can get down with this. I can get down with this. What am I going to block with, Moto? My Seachrome Coast? Oh, Moto, you're so silly. So silly. Oh, man, three Mox Opals, huh? It's pretty good. Another Vault Scourge, yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why this always happens. All right, well, uh, so 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We're not going to die. Uh, we, might <clears throat> we might be exactly alive, which is nice. We're going to have 6 mana for our Wombo combo, and then... If, I don't know, if worse comes to worse, like he, he bolts us or whatever. Uh, so it's 1, 2, 3... Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stay alive at one. Unless I did my math incorrectly. Let's see. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, eighteen or uh, um, fifteen. Still can't block. Okay. Don't have the Galvanic Blast. Okay, so... What's happening here? Is this coming off Suspend? No, why would we ever be lucky? Um. Huh. Okay, so uh, you can't lose the game and your opponents can't win the game until the end of turn. Damage that would reduce your life total to less than one reduces it to one instead. So paying life for another Angel's Grace doesn't work. Our only hope is to draw one of our two Angel's Graces that we still have because we know one of them's on the bottom. Uh, the land was necessary though, so that decision wasn't uh, you know the worst. But He had the Galvanic Blast, which was not ideal for sure. Yeah. Alright, gotta get lucky. Alright, didn't get lucky. Nope, dead. Nope, dead! Okie dokie. 
Moto would do the thing it's supposed to do. Uh, I want these ethereal hazes, echoing truths, inquisitions. <clears throat> I think I think Madcap is going to be good because um, they're a pretty aggressive deck and. Typically, this is good against aggressive decks. <laughs> My computer is always making the fan noise. And it only does it whenever I start recording. Uh, which makes me think, you know, it's, it's the load on the computer. Uh, for the last cut, I'm going to be cutting uh, probably spoils. Just because everything else is pretty redundant. And... Spoils like could kill us, like our life total is going to be under duress uh, through the entirety of this match. So I'm just going to cut two and leave one. Let's see where this takes us. I would love to play first. I would love to mulligan. That was a five card hand. Wow, this hand is also the worst. <clears throat> Hand is also the worst. Have to mulligan this hand. I don't know what's happening anymore. Maybe he's deciding whether to mulligan or not. It's pretty unclear. Like, we have three of our sideboard cards, but we need to draw Angel's Grace and Lands. And that's just not going to do it. Yeah, this hand's, this hand's perfectly reasonable, and we're going to keep that on top. Uh, we're not going to play Temple of Enlightenment, because it's a scry. We're also not going to cast Serum Visions, because we know we want the top card. Uh, it's better for next turn. Phyrexian Unlife is actually probably really good in this matchup, uh, depending on, like, if he has the, uh, the stupid uh, Ink Moth Nexus start. Alright, so those are lands. Those are lands. Uh, I'm just going to bottom them both, actually. Typically we want lands in this matchup, but... Or not in this matchup, I don't know, but... Uh, typically we want lands, because our combo costs 6 mana. But the fact that we have Madcap and we're drawing to Madcap as well as Ad Nausea makes me think that we want to hit action. You want action satisfaction. The brothers with the positive reaction. Uh, that's Jurassic 5. If you don't know who Jurassic 5 is, they're great. And you should check them out. Huh. Ooh, that, that is a red card. That sure is. Sure is, Jim. Alright, judging from his start here, uh, I expect to get smacked with a cranial plating next turn. So, Or this to get spell pierced, one of the two. Yeah. Because he kept a like kind of explosive hand, but not really. So you got to think, like, your opponent like keeps a 7. What could he have, you know? Looks like he just has uh, a bunch of damage. <laughs> and this is certainly a bunch of damage. He's kind of just doing affinity things. All right. Okay, so we're not alive, I don't think. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? That's seven damages? And then uh, three infects. Oh, it's eight. Eight damage and three infect. Maybe I shouldn't have six, and just in case he. We're dead. And that's the game! Okay, so what do we learn? Don't mulligan to five whenever your opponent has. A pretty good start with some disruption, and yeah, man, it's just just unlucky, just unlucky. They're blisteringly fast though, so there you go. Uh, see you for the next match.